Salutations and welcome back to another episode from the Tales of Cartoonia. My name's Cartosel and we're still at this place actually. I've done a couple of minor changes between this episode and the previous one. I went to the nether to collect some uh, glowstone, so that's one thing, but not all that exciting, I suppose. And what I have done is added these chiseled stone blocks on the top of every column. Because, hey, they're not expensive anymore. You can make them, so why not use them? And, you know, it's the same color, because it's chiseled stone brick and that stone brick but it adds a different texture also kind of finished this wall I guess I uh, didn't go too crazy with it but I decided to just add some supports and it looks a lot better now at least in my opinion so well, that's something and let me think yeah, the storage. I've kind of finished it, I guess. So this is what I eventually did. I made a lot of more chests. And I'm kind of wondering if I even need this many chests. I think this storage is actually too big. Awkwardly enough, I'll be able to store a lot of different things in here. And we don't have that many different farms, now do we? Nope, we've had something like 10 or 11. Well, there's six on <laughs> at either side of this, so that's 24 slots. Yeah. Oh, I'm down here now. Well, anyway, this is how I fi eventually decided to go. Glowstone, quartz block, quartz stairs. We have our oh, pumpkins over here. And I did not move my cactus yet, I suppose. Huh. I thought I did, but apparently not. Huh. Quaint. Quaint indeed. Of course, Bandit is still here. Hello. Ah. Uh, let's just double check to, to see if indeed we... No, we did not take the cactus with us. Oh. Um, hi. Hello. Yeah, spiders. Spiders tend to spawn inside that room. I'm not quite sure why, but they do. Huh. I don't know where, to be honest. I mean, where can they spawn in here? Where? We need a 2x2 two two area. 2x2x1.5. Two two so... I really don't know. But... One was in there. Why did I come here? I want to ditch the clay. Might as well ditch the string. Let's store the cactus. And not going to do too much today. I kind of lost track of time, and so I'm recording this late. I know it's really bad, but it's kind of my thing. Not that that is uh, acquitting me in any way, or well, it shouldn't be. But yeah. That's kind of the gist of it. So, the episode might not be that much shorter than you're used to, but the actual time that has passed will be different. So, usually when I say, oh, this is a short episode, that means that I did not take very long to record. But mind you, take not very long to record could very well be two hours. Yeah, exact. No, it's my meat. Exactly. So, now a couple of things I want to talk about. First of all, the station. It's uh, already kind of big. Let go up. Keep going up. Yeah, it's already pretty big. So I think I need to work more with with crossroads. Uh, not necessarily crossroads, but intersections, because this is a very linear part. Now. I've if I keep doing the station very linear, it's going to be very long. Getting from one side to the other will be a nightmare. It's almost night. I'm talking about nightmares. So yeah, there's that. I'm also in the newest snapshots, 6A. 
which was released uh, about an hour ago. Uh, so I'm not quite... Shh, local difficulty, that's new. Oh, it even shows which day it is. Oh, that's cute. That's new. Though I'm not quite sure what the point 19 is. Huh. Day 1309. So if we go to bed, it should be 1310. That's actually quite a bunch of days. And also quite dangerous because it will allow you guys to see exactly how many Minecraft days have passed since I last played here. Yeah. Hmm. Almost. But yeah, you might notice there are no signs. So when five Am I floating? Uh, yeah, well, it worked. So when 5B came out, they said, yeah, it's 1310. They said, you know, the popping off of your item frames have been fixed. So I thought, oh, okay, sure, whatever. And I went to chop down some wood and I never got inside the building. So when I came in and saw them all removed, I was pretty annoyed. I went to Cretonia and, well, actually I backed up first because I forgot to do that before installing Snapshot 5B, which was which should have been right after our episode. And yeah, when I went to Cretonia, I noticed everything had popped off again. So I eventually decided to punch them all off in, in uh, Snapshot 5 and leave it there once 1.8 actually comes out then I will put those stupid item frames back on but not before I've learned my lessons of course I could be very angry about that and to be honest I am quite annoyed but it is a snapshot and stuff like that happens in snapshots so yeah if you don't want that don't install a snapshot Pretty, pretty, I don't think there is to it. So, this has been really boring and it has been annoying me for quite a while. I have a plan, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. I want to make it look a bit like a, oh, I don't know, pumping station. Logic? No. But oh, right, so the the game just crashed. The crash and burn type. I don't know why, I was just... Okay, um, as you can see, we're back in 14W05B. Don't play 6A, please. As soon as you try to hit a block, your game crashes. Yeah, that's really useful in Minecraft. I mean... With all the respect, but there can be bugs. I know, I know, I'm not complaining about bugs. I just said that a minute ago that there can be bugs. If you don't want bugs, don't play them snapshots. But come on, there are bloody limits. If you cannot hit any block, did they even start the game when they finished their snapshot? Did they? I don't know. Do the developers actually play their own game? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Feels like they didn't. But then again, they, I might be completely wrong. I might be indeed. So, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> but let's carry on. So as I uh, started to mention, kind of a pumping station idea. It's a bit, uh, it is the kind of part is really predominant. It's yeah, it's it's not going to be anything fancy. Let's just keep it at that. <laughs> but it's going to break up the monotony. Is that is that how you say that? Monotony? I don't know. No, that doesn't connect. Oh, well, there is this. Well, disconnect either. Shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, let's get you out. Oh, well. Good shuffle. And let's do it 
like that. Yeah, sure, that'll work, I suppose, in a way, somehow. And now I need you guys up here. Why not just start from down here? Well, I want to place water there, of course, because otherwise it wouldn't be much of a pumping station. Yeah, if, you, if I'm sounding a bit more confused than normal, it's because that, what just happened, really took me off guard. I don't like being caught off guard. Certainly not on camera. <laughs> ah well. I'll get over it. And get back some water. And finish this up too far away. Right. So as I said, it's very basic. I would have liked the water stream to come from inside and then pour out. But this will work. I think I'll actually... Yeah, sure, why not? Just let them run down a little more. Make it slightly different from everything else. Sure. I mean, as I already said, it's nothing super fancy. Just something different. Could also actually extend it and let it go all the way over, I don't know, somewhere over there. That would certainly be different, but also weird. Why would you pump it up, and then sideways, and then down again? Just because it looks cool? Well, that's usually more than enough reason for me, but not this time. Can I just remove this? I can. Do I want to? Now, that's the question. Does that look okay-ish? You know, rounding it off, just doing something different. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think just just to make it different, just to set it apart. And it's also suddenly became a source of asymmetry. Which sometimes I love, sometimes I hate. I usually hate it, I'll be honest. So yeah, that, that makes it slightly different. I'm not completely happy with it. I mean, this seems alright in my eyes for some reason. But this seems too too bare, this, this part of the wall. I'm not quite sure why that isn't, and that is. Well, it's, I mean, let's be honest, it's not that... <laughs> There's only one road more. But maybe, because this is three wide and three high, that, that clay surface, and this is four wide, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just guessing why I don't like this as much. But I also don't really know what to do. I can't dig in here because I'll expose the red stem. Is that a bad thing? Oh wow, there isn't any. There is. Yeah, that's a bad thing. <laughs> for sure. And that? Well. It's something. It's a thing. It's a thing. No, oh, that was stupid. Let's try that. Um, yeah, I guess that works out. Just to make it a little bit different. Could also make another pipe in here, but... I don't know. I'd rather not. Could I mirror that on this side? I don't think so. Oh, I can! And I bring back the symmetry, yes, indeed. Well, at least at one part. Anyway, that'll have to do, I suppose. I don't want to linger on that for too long. I mean, not being much done is one thing, but spending an entire episode on frolicking at those little things, that's not really something you should do, should, should I? Something I... Wow, I'm not quite sure why I am even... Wow, uh, why am I... Why? Mm. Wow, this, this bugs me. Give me a second, please. Alright, so, yes, I had no idea why I was so flustered. 
I'm not quite sure it's over yet, to be honest. I hope it is, but I don't get flooded at times. So I can find it difficult to find the right words, but this was extreme. And somehow this sounds very loud to my ears. I'm not quite sure if it's very loud to your ears. I hope it isn't. Oh well, we'll see. We'll hear. So yeah, moving on. What we're going to do right now, why am I peering up again? Do some planning. Where are we going to go next? I do like how that looks. That needs to change. Someday soon. Maybe. Portal. Of course there's going to be another airship terminal thingy. Which probably should be somewhere close to the living quarters or the storage. Or maybe both. I don't think I... I want the living quarters to be the center. And I don't want the uh, storage to be too far away from that. Nor do I want the forge to be too far away. So the next two buildings will probably be the living quarters and the forge in random order. And I want them somewhere close here. Now the living quarters are going to be a multi-level building. Uh, may maybe well, we have ground level. Probably one on top. I think I want to go for three levels. But then the third level will be either on top or in the basement. Like that one has. I haven't decided yet. So we're probably going to do the forge first. Um, so this seems like a proper place for an intersection. That could be sufficient room for a living quarters. Let's see, we have three segments. So maybe room for four or five. Five, that's four. Yeah, five should do. So that would fit over here. And then have the general corridor pass through. No, not through. Well, actually, maybe yes. At least alongside the living quarters. And then continue to base that direction. And you have the forge right over here. And the rest of the base branch of that way. Wow. Frame rate. 30 tops, 60. Eh, oh well. So yes, we're probably going, let's just make one extra compartment first. Well, first of course we go down. So we have one, two, three. And that's completely not how I'm doing it. One, two, three. There we go. It's kind of how I measure these things out because if we have three of those, then the total length of that is five. Marvelous, isn't it? So this could be the start of the living quarters. Maybe I'll branch off first and then build living quarters. But that would take up some of the space. And I'm not too fond of that idea. I kind of like the idea of having the living quarters part of the corridor, so that the corridor pass through it. Well, maybe that's not a bad idea if we have a first floor, which is like a cantina. Canteen. <laughs> Never know how to pronounce that word. And I do want the forge to branch off that way, which would mean that if it's going to be part of the corridor, it will shift it over one. That's something I'll have to think about. So we're going to do the forge first. Simple. And one, two, no. Stupid grass. Like so. Oh, it sounds so loud. And, uh, well, this has to go. Because of that. No, that of course did not work. I hoped it did, but yeah, it doesn't. And do that, and that. So we now have that coming out one. Um, could 
do it that way, but that will block the windows and I do not feel much for it. Or I could just actually pretty much copy that design. That will work because, I mean, the forge, we, we can make it huge, but that's not really going to work out. Oh, wow. Hello. There's something very dark, very near. Probably beneath. So if you make it even smaller than this one, yeah, I think that will work. And I think that will work well, actually. So that means we almost have the entire layout done already. And that's how you do work. So we do one over here, over here, like so. Yeah, I could also be placing the stone brick at the same time. But if I decide to change, I only have to change half of it. And something's not right. I'm using too much andesite. So it will be like this. Small, but efficient. Of course, I'm going to decorate it and make it pretty and whatnot. But that's all of later worry. First, we need to make it functional. So we do this, and then we have the general layout. I don't remember if I did that on camera before. Just the layout of one of these small parts. I really do like building modular, if you haven't noticed yet. And I hope you do now. Um, Alright, that was special. So we have a layout. Marvellous. Uh, let's get you at three, just for habit. So this is going to be the floor. Nothing special. Probably. No, nothing special. Usually in forges I choose to go for a stone floor. I use wooden floors a lot. But in this project, the floor is stone already. So no need to worry. There's also going to be a floor we have pumpkin over there. Probably going to redo the lighting in here anyway. May end up using pumpkins, but it's not very likely. Just like the storage. And this is what I meant with we should really build a central place and let this <laughs> be the furthest away because it's long walk already and we're not even close to being finished and there's one of those time staff yeah oh no no the glowing pumpkins are of course not here they are in the storage luckily everything we do from this place requires us to go past the storage so yeah, that solves itself. I believe they were in here. Yes, they were. Marvelous. Oh. That was a drunk move. But I promise I don't didn't didn't drink. Uh that didn't really sound like wow, no. That doesn't sound believable at all. I'm not drunk. I'm... Oh, I'm not drunk. Yeah. I do promise I'm not drunk. I'm just always this stupid. Well, maybe not stupid per se, but... I talk and talk and talk a lot. I could... I could have gone into politics. Because, you know, I talk a lot without actually saying something. I can do that pretty easily. Oh, but then there is the part of me that really hates lying, so I could not be a politician after all. Besides, if I told people around me, oh, I might be a politician, they just laughed, so I wouldn't get their votes. Not that it would matter. Dutch politicians nowadays, oh, they care just for one-liners. I'm too smart for them. Wow, that sounded arrogant, because I wanted it to. 
Yeah, let's get rid of that, shall we? And it's day. Woo! So, in this episode, we're going to finish it off with actually finishing the basic exterior of the forge. Next episode, we'll actually be building the forge and. I hope to get started on some other things, not to be a short episode again. This is Thursday, by the way, instead of my usual recording day Friday. Because I'm not home tomorrow. Nope, I'm not. Did I only bring one stack? Well, I'm, I'm real dull sometimes. Hello, tree! How many trees did I already cut down because they were in my way? Quite a bit. Then again, most of them have already been turned into chests. So suck it, trees. That's just kind of a far cry from Cartonia, where everything is built from trees. Well, not everything, but close enough. Yes, I bought myself out as well. Brilliant, ain't I? Yeah. I'm just glad that works fine. Still no spider, that's good. I really don't know why this is spawning in there. Ah, I have plenty of clay, I just had to bring it with me. When building I always underestimate the amount of materials I need. And another cacti went to the ground. Indeed. Let's get up here. Good. So, we'll do it like this. Probably going to do something different for the roof here as well. Again, not quite sure what. Just like the... the <laughs> wants to say the spider building, but no. It's the cactus building. The cactus farm. But yeah. That is not our main worry at the moment. Now just alternate these blocks. The great advantage of a scroll wheel. Even if I hate this scroll wheel with all my heart, sometimes it does exactly what it is meant to do. Like now. Alright, so that's the basic outline. And of course we have these. I really should at one point start building stuff that isn't as modular. The modular designs like, like this, you know, with all these little parts and the advantage is it all works together well. It, it looks it looks good and it's easy to think of how big am I going to make this building? You just add compartments until you have the right size. I'm looking if this is the right size for a forge. Yeah, sure. I mean, we could have like four on each side, which is already way too much. We could also have one or two. I don't know. We'll see next episode. This is probably going to. Yeah, this might be the start of the. No, it's not the sun. Sleeping quarters. It's not, not just the sleeping quarters, actually. It's, you know, where do people live? Living quarters, of course. Wow, how could, how could I? Never mind. Let's add a door and call it an episode. This is going not as high as planned, I can, I can assure you. I'm not quite sure how it's going, but not as planned. Ah, we have another door, lovely. We need two plates, one on each side. Very good, very good. So yes, I hope you don't mind that this episode was such chaos. Well, I felt it was chaos. It might not be as bad as I think it is. Well, that can always hope, right? There we go. 
let's just add some lighting because I'm slightly paranoid. Much better. So yes, I do hope to see you again next time, because trust me, it'll most definitely be better than this time, if you thought that it wasn't good. And yeah, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.